Stephen, congratulations on the new deal. You've signed a new contract until 2025. You must be delighted. I obviously delighted to get it done uh, here for another four years, which is uh, you know, the perfect scenario for me. It's been a it's been an odd year for some, a disappointing season for many here. But ironically, you'll look back on this year as being a season to remember. Uh, of course, it's been disappointing uh, for the team, for the club. But uh, I getting a consistent run of games, uh, you know, regular game after uh, you know, the Christmas the, the Christmas period there, and it's just about you know keep keep doing that, uh, keep playing, keep playing well. Uh, hopefully until the end of the season. Now. There's a a quote up at Celtic Park from the late great Jock Steen that says that you know the Celtic jersey doesn't shrink to fit inferior players. You're a good person to ask about that. Have you really felt that you you fit that jersey? I will hopefully. You know I've not played a lot of games. I think it's when you know you play 50, you know 100 games with like the other boys and that have came through the academy have done. So I it's just uh, it's just putting that form consistently. Uh, doing well, working hard in training as well, that's what it's about. And getting your chance, it's it's, be, it's about being a bit lucky as well. So hopefully that all comes together again. It's about, it's about taking the chances when, when you get them as, as well. And Is your story perhaps a lesson to some of the, the younger boys here at the academy who are, who are looking for their chance, maybe getting a little bit impatient? You've been on the periphery for a number of seasons. You know, the lesson maybe just stick in, work hard, your time will come. Exactly, there's only a couple of points. A couple of people from you know each each age group that will make it. You know, there's not many, so uh, I think you just need to work extra hard in training and games. You know, do a bit extra, uh, whatever it is, uh, to to try and make it. And you know, as I said, there's only one or two boys from each uh, from each age group that make it, so it's very it's very hard to come through. Coming through the academy here, you've been on the periphery for a while until this season. You've you've done the loan thing as well. Have you always felt as if your your chance will come and you'll get that opportunity to prove yourself? I think they're always uh, you need to believe that you'll get your chance. So it's very hard at this club. Uh, there's so many good players, so many big players, especially in my position. You know, there's top, there's internationals. Uh, so uh, it's it's difficult to to try and cement your place as well. It's all good playing a couple of games here and there. But to play a consistent amount of games is probably the most difficult thing at this club. And, and to show the consistency, you mentioned about the position you're in. You're in one of the most important positions on the field, but you, you certainly do seem to be playing with a lot of confidence now. Aye, aye. Especially when, when you're playing next to Big Chris. You've got John Joe next to you as well. Uh, you know, they're experienced players. Chris is you know, playing with Nor Norway uh, at a high level. John Joe's playing the Premier League, so it makes it very easy. Uh, when you're playing players of that calibre uh, and you know, can fit in really well with them. Certainly under John, everyone seems to know exactly what their job is. Yeah, I think this, the style of play, I think you saw that at the weekend, uh, they were unplayable at times. You know, it could, it could have been anything, could have been 89 goals. I think that was coming though. Uh, you know, we've, we've played well the last few weeks, the goals just haven't been there. So <clears throat> the performance and the, the chances we created against Livingston were, were very good and uh, Hopefully we can take that into the weekend. What are the areas of your game that you think have improved the most since you've had a run in the team? Probably on the ball. I think at Celtic, as a centre half, you need to be very, very good in the ball because uh, we've, we've always got most of the ball, especially at like Celtic Park when teams are coming in and make it dif making it difficult for you. You need to be good in the ball. You need to be you know, feeding in the midfield and the strikers. So I'd say you know, the passing forward, forward passes has been has been a big improvement in just all round game. Uh, the the concentration when you're when you're attacking all the time, uh, the defenders need to be concentrated uh, for the counter attacks, especially against teams like Livingston who who are quite good at that. Four years then, four big years at the club. What are your aims and ambitions for that period? Well, for the end of the season, that's all I'm looking at now. Just to the end of the season, we've got the Scottish Cup to play in. We've got a massive game at the weekend, so. We'll be looking at that first, and uh, a good uh, a good finish to the league. You know, we want to go and win all our games against the other top, the top six in the league. So we know it'll be tough games, and if we can go and put a consistent uh, run of games in, then um, I think we'll be good going into pre-season.